Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in my studio this morning. That kiln is full. First, I wanted to say thanks to our sponsor, Continental Clay. They make the best clay and glazes. And check them out, continentalclay.com. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. All right, so what's in this kiln? We got a bunch of spiral cups for the Kickstarter. Are we a little off center here? Wink. I gotta get you center. Can't be. So we got cups, mugs, bowls, all the normal stuff. But what I'm really excited about is that I took some clay from that big pile at my house from when they dug up for the holding tank. And I was like, I think this is clay. I'm gonna try and fire it. So I made it into a little bowl and it got through the first bisque firing. Like I fired it and it, so it went up to cone 04 without melting everywhere. So now it's in there and it has glaze on it. So if it works to cone six, then I have a giant pile of clay at my house that I can reclaim and make stuff out of, which I am like this, I, I've told a couple people this and I probably like, they're probably like, John, you're such a nerd. Like, why do you care about that? But I think it would be so cool to have clay that's like dug up from my house, like my property in Waconia, Minnesota, that you make stuff out of. I just like think that would be so dope. I'm excited to see if it's gonna work. You ready to do it? You ready? <gasps> I'm ready, let's do it. Ready? All right, first thing we got is big bowl. Well, that turned out pretty nice. That's one of the large serving bowls for the Kickstarter. And then we just got some little plates. Those are nice. These are just plates that we use at Mocha Monkey. Like we're just constantly. Breakfast sandwiches, muffins, whatever. If you come to Mocha Monkey, you'd get one on one of these plates. You're gonna have to watch all the way to the end of this video to see that clay, that pot. <laughs> Okay, just kidding, it was right here. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I should have taken a picture of what it looked like before, but this is what happens when you fire clay that can't go. So I fired it inside. So this this bowl is, is uh, buff stoneware from Continental Clay. So I knew that this would not melt, but then I put the other bowl inside of here with like black glaze and stuff on it and that's what happened. So I will not be, so that means that the clay, the firing temperature for that particular clay is a lot lower because at cone 04 or cone 06, it worked perfectly, but at cone six, it melted into here. I really wish I would've taken a picture of the before because that would be hilarious. Well, that's good, at least I know. Well, so that means that I could test it to lower temperatures. So I know it goes to cone 06, I could try it to like, Cone 02 and like cone 2 and it could be, I can make like planters and stuff out of it, not like functional because it can't get up to the high fire. So. Well, that's probably the most exciting thing in the kiln. There's a twisted mug, twisted mug for the Kickstarter. That'll be going out to somebody. Yes. Oh, that Northern Lights glaze. I don't know, I'm, I'm just, more, more twisted mugs. Gorgeous. So this was a tester with, so this is with Continental Clay's um, Black Knight with luster green and buttercream on top of it. So I thought maybe it would turn out kind of like the Northern Lights. I think it could, just everything needs to be a little thicker. Like black needs to be thicker, green needs to be thicker. Just everything needs to be thick. Kind of the solution to a lot of my problems. So these, so these are all these are spiral mug, spiral cups. So those also were on, basically where you're going to be seeing lots of Kickstarter orders filled for the next. And this is on Continental Clay's like dark red clay, which I really like it. It's quite amazing. Subtle, subtle differences in the glazes between the two different clays, but I don't. I mean, they both have their, love that drip. Holy cow, the drips are sweet. And then here's a couple test tiles with, I, I don't know what that is, 42. Ooh, that's pretty cool, it's kinda nice, I like that. You probably can't see that that well. There's one, yeah, I don't know, nothing too special. 
pretty much every fire I've done this year, I'm now firing everything on either like a little coaster or a little biscuit thing, which just helps. So everything has a little kiln wash on it and just saves kiln shelves, saves the bottom of the mugs, saves the bottom of, I even did this one on like three different pieces. So these are all spiral cups. Those all turned out really good. I'm getting kind of low on black, or getting kind of low on buttercream and black, which means I'm gonna have to mix a bunch of new stuff, which means whenever you mix a new glaze, then you're kind of like starting all over again. But So these all have these little, these little squares on them. So I'll have to pop all those squares. More spiral mugs, spiral mugs. I keep saying mugs, but they're cups. They're not mugs, they're cups. Tumblers. So this is that dark, what is that clay called? Dark iron stoneware is what it's called. You might not be able to tell the difference, but it really looks quite different. There's these flecks in the black clay. It's super cool. I don't, I, I really feel like I haven't done enough testing of clays. I think I should just try a bunch of different clay. Cause I've always just used the buff stoneware just cause I, it's good, it's nice, it works. But I've never like, I used to use high fire white too, which I do like the buff stoneware better than the high fire white in terms of the color. The high fire white throws really nicely, but this dark iron stoneware, I like it. Super cool. It's amazing the difference in that the clay can make. Wow. This like might be one of my best kilns ever just because all this glaze is just perfect. So these again are all going out. For the Kickstarter, these are probably like the 14 to 16 ounce mugs. Shout out to everybody that contributed to the Kickstarter. Couple more. I mean, this, this unloading is probably slightly boring because everything kind of looks the same. Mugs, cups, which I probably won't film all the ones for the Kickstarter because there's gonna be a lot of them. But yeah, boom. So now what I'll probably do, this has kind of been my habit now, is um, I'll kind of flip them all over, look at the bottoms, you know, make sure that nothing's stuck to the bottom. If they're not smooth, then I'll run them, those diamond core uh, discs that I have, I'll run it through like either the medium one or the fine one to make sure that the bottom's really smooth. And then we'll start getting all this packed up and ready to go out to, uh, to the Kickstarter campaign. Wow. All right, I think that's it for this video, guys. Take some pics. Going to shout out again to our sponsor, Continental Clay. Check them out at continentalclay.com. Clay and glazes. Plus, they're just awesome people. So, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment. See you in the next video. We got a package and we're gonna open it right now. It's from Mary Anderson. Who doesn't love getting things in the mail for real? John, your overlap has, has me on a testing mission and she sent me a, a recipe for a glaze. Wow, holy smokers. That is awesome. You, you probably can't even really get the whole get these. Those are gorgeous. You are killing it, killing the glaze. I might have to try and make that glaze. Way to go, Mary. See you in the next video. Shh.